everybody and welcome to another episode of Honkai Star Rail. I'm here with the drunk bard, as always. The one and only. The one and only drunk bard. Who will uh, bully me. Oh, I need to edit my, uh... Yeah. He's on me. I'm Video there. <laughs> do, do, do. But yeah. Uh, we are playing Honkai Star Rail. <coughs> Today. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to load up everything. Actually, need to edit that video. So it's gonna be set there. Not gonna be set, but. There we go. <clears throat> Vale! How are you? It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've seen you around. I hope you're doing good. Anyway, uh, I don't know where I'm going. I actually have to do something to my, uh, can you play here for a minute? I, I guess I'm doing this only a child quest. Mm -hmm. Okay. I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. A duty bound soldier and a resistance leader. It's hard to be rock I actually have a that. interesting uh if you're still there, Vale. Uh I actually have a interesting um proposition you know, for a collaboration. Maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. If you're still there, Vale. You're right. I've probably been idle for too long. It's easy to get stuck in your own head. Huh? It's just... I see people fighting for their lives, and here I am thinking about how to escape. I feel guilty about that. Japard's plan all along? You... Hmm, that's true. Anyway, since he asked for help, it's time to give those monsters a shock. I gotta deal with monsters? You know the way to the Great Mine, right? Let's catch up with Japard when you're ready. I don't want to go and catch up with Japard. That's all you needed to say. Let's go. Well, I guess I'm ready for it. I guess I can. Yeah. Alright. Put all artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover our infantry advance. We have a choke point here. Tell all infantry units to switch to double line formation. Close quarters in front, gunners behind. Remember, get the wounded out as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Ah, you're here. Get ready. We need to help the infantry line. The back of the mine has been secured, which gives us a forward base to send in supplies. 
the Silver Main Wildfire Combined Regiment is conducting rescue missions as they advance. The battle is fierce. I need to get to the front line. I'll leave the command post to my officers. I... I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. The situation here is totally different from the restricted zone. Chapard, let me and him clear the way for you. You should stay in your command post. Thanks, Serval. But please trust my judgment. I made a promise to Mr. Oleg to save as many people as possible. I have to see to it myself. Mr. Oleg! There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine. We'll do it your way. Let's move out. We need to clear a way for Wildfire and the guards. All right. Wait, how do I? Okay, I know how to do this again. <laughs> All civilians, please go to the bridge immediately. The Silvermane guards have set up a defensive perimeter. You'll be safe there. There's a monster heading this way. What should we do? Bring it down. Damn, I couldn't even do... Enemy targets detected. The attack? Okay. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack! Enough! It made it easy for us. But we can't let our guards down. It's safe here. Let's move on. Screen four. Evacuating the miners together with wildfire. Are there any other civilians up ahead? Silvermane guards and wildfire are working together now? Uh, yeah. Oh, civilians. Ah, I saw a girl run out from our defensive position just now. Bring them back. The guards and wildfire have set up defenses on the bridge. You should head over. Thank you. Please bring them back to safety. Sure, we got this. Oh no! Uh, monsters are coming this way! Leave the battle to us. You need to fall back. Damn, that didn't do anything. Is that, <gasps> Is that all? Oh. I'll be the 
existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. All right, all right, this is gonna be good, I think. Enough. Why don't you stay and play for a while? Come here of your own volition. Where are you going? You will know justice. You're having a problem. Looks like YouTube is having an issue. No, like you're having an issue. Um, no, nah, I'm. Another journey begins. Let's keep searching for the missing girl in the miner. Is it me or is it cold here? Here of your own volition, or was it from the still waters of oblivion I guide the wandering soul? Enemy data secure. Net markers active. Time for a good old counter attack. In the name of Landau. Years of cold. Pardons the will. We shall never fall! Another journey begins. Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. Debt repaid. Oh. <laughs> They're in danger. Let's go. Do we still have the upper hand? Oh, 
kind of. Why don't you stay and play for a while? Yeah. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering soul. You will know justice. Oh, um. In the name yeah, no. of Landau. Years of cold. Pardons the will. We shall never fall. Enemy data secure. Net markers active. Time for a good old counter attack. Targets detected. This tap. <gasps> Don't worry. I'll get. I'll play the best. Consistent as fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. <laughs> oh, Dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards in Wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. have gotten stronger somehow. I don't remember them being this... Thank goodness we got here in time. If we'd arrived any later... That's one brave little girl. <laughs> you were like that at her age, too. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the passageway. Vowing to protect the Underworlders in one breath, and then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. Never mind. I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. At least now we've got the chance to right the wrongs. Angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. Running away doesn't solve the problem. It's been ages since you two had those fights, but you still can't let it go. You need to walk out of his shadow. trying to change your mind. I just want to know that your choice to leave this planet is a result of having thought things through. Not because you're trying to run away from something. My choice. Uh -huh. Sorry, I sound like Dad. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I get what you're trying to say. I, I do. It's just... I need some time. Let's focus on the business at hand. That miner we met said his brother came this way. Okay. Be careful, though. It could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Is there something that we haven't encountered? I don't know. Hard. <sighs> 
Is there anything I need to know? I need to find. Hey, did you just scare off a freak mental monster? Uh, kind of. There was one on its own. I managed to chase it away. Speaking of which, you came from that direction, right? To see two little kids, a girl and her brother. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost them. They'll be okay now. You should head back to the bridge too. The guards and wildfire have set up a safe zone there. Ah, oh, thank you, all of you. I'm just glad they're okay. I can finally retreat as well. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road, some kind of leader of the pack. I take caution. Thanks for the intel. We'll be careful. I think he was right about the monster. You two, no sudden moves. I don't have any more. I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. What is that? Wait, don't get too close. Something's not right. Huh? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. This could be a trap. That's the same thing it said to me, too. I was able to like it. Refresh your page. I'm not oh, sure either. Why am I gonna refresh it? I just have a feeling that something's oh. different. The air. It's so cold. Still able to like it. Just talk. Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Japard not hear that? Japard. Oh, Did it just say <sighs> that noise? Do fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? Talking? I just hear white noise. Wait, you understand it? Our names? What's happening here? I heard rumors about this kind of monster. Shadows in the Fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past go- If the rumors are true- Nikolaya... You... You just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me. And yet you always manage to creep up again. Kakolia, you... You... Witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life. What else do you want to take away from me? Calm down, Serval. It's just a fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together... Was any of it real? It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Serval! Lord, no. Stand down. There is no place for you. The promised new world. Sister, I know you want Madame Cacolia to respond. But this thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the Fragmentum. <sighs> Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Of course. If you're not yet able to confront the past, 
What is this monster? Will fight for you until your heart is ready. <sighs> you too. I'm sorry, brother. I always make you worry when things get serious, but I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? Well, seeing as we've come this far, Kakolia. Let's settle this bad blood right here, right now. I gotta fight her. Okay. Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Damn. Do we still have the upper hand? In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering soul. Years of cold pardons the will. We shall never fall. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Don't worry, I'll go easy. Don't move, okay? The system is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. No justice. The die is cast. Another journey begins. Assistance fleeting as the dawn's do. Destined for oblivion. We've beaten her. Herbal. Herbal. Why do you all have to stand in my way? The temperature is returning to normal. I think it's safe to say that the shadow of Madame Cacolia was the reason for this invasion. The other anomalies we experienced were probably also a direct result. Whatever the case, we've managed to avert a crisis. Indeed it was. We're lucky to have an experienced fighter like you who can adapt to different enemies. It would have taken us much longer to fight off the shadow without you. Serval, how are you feeling? I... I feel like something heavy has finally been lifted. All that noise before it perished. Did you catch what it said? Let's see. You really made no effort to correct your mistakes, Kakolia. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. From here on out. I'm over that woman. I can tell you mean it this time. I'm happy for you, Serval. It's not easy to truly put the past behind you. Looks like we accomplished our mission. I need to get back to the guards and wildfire to wrap things up. 
you two should head over to Natasha's place and check in on the wounded. Sure. Come find us later at the clinic. Let's leave Jappard to his business and head back to town. We completed the mission. Look at that, I complete stuff. Mm -hmm. I do, I did just now. This haven of memories. Sure. Every time. Now I'm going to the clinic. I wish you all a journey that is... Look, I completed the mission. Oh, oh, I Why gotta report to, to, to Natasha. Okay. I see. <laughs> Thanks for bringing oh. me up to speed. The clinic has been busy while you were gone. We've treated many people, soldiers and civilians alike. All in all, I owe everyone a big thank you. It would have been much harder if Wildfire had operated alone. Thanks to Captain Jappard, we managed to keep our losses to a minimum. I'm sure people will begin to appreciate the Silvermane Guards after this battle. <laughs> How could I forget about you two? We couldn't have done it without your help. You're too kind. They deserve the real credit. I doubt I'd have come back in one piece without them. Sounds like you went through a lot of danger. Are you hurt, Miss Serval? I, I can have a look if you like. I'm all right, don't worry. Everything worked out eventually. Let's wait for the rest of them to get back. Miss Natasha. Is that Japan? Mr. Oleg has a pretty good handle on what's needed in the mine. He's arranging okay. for rescue teams and supplies to be sent over. You won't be back. Looks like you guys have the situation under control. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to sit down and chat with all of you, but I still have a backlog of patients to see. Oh, there was a girl and her brother who said you saved their lives. You might want to check on them and see how they're doing. Natasha's right. We should make sure those children are all right. Sure. Come on. We'll make sure the children are all right. Monsters in the mine. You guys yes, are I did. Silverman guards from the overworld, right? If you hadn't been there, we would have. I'll think of a way to repay you. I'll get a job and. Thanks. We can manage our daily expenses. Mom and Dad went somewhere far away a long time ago. Haven't come back yet. They haven't come back yet. They went. Where did they go? They'll come back one day, Zeno. So, you're looking after your brother on your own? That 
must be hard. Not really. It's my responsibility as a sister. I'm just worried that with all these monster invasions, maybe one day I won't. My brother is too young to survive in the underworld. To think he might have to live on his own. The misjudgment of the former Supreme Guardian isolated the underworld for more than a decade. With that isolation came tragedy. But under Lady Bronya's leadership, the Silvermane Guards will atone for past mistakes and bring relief to the people. From now- Captain Chapard. Taking care of yourself is hard enough under these circumstances, let alone if you- Zeno, right? Yes, Mr. Captain. You're still young, so you need to stay under your sister's wing. But when you grow up, remember to use what you've learned to protect her. Be there when she needs you, and listen to her when she feels vulnerable. She'll do the same for you. <sighs> okay, sir. I'll protect my sister when I grow up. Thank you, Captain Chapard. Zeno and I will remember your words. You know, I'm pretty good at turning a happy reunion into a tear fest. Let's call it a day and give them some room. If you're not too tired, Jepard, can I talk to you for a moment? We have to talk to Jepard? Well, no. She's got to talk to Jepard. What you said back there. Did you really mean it? Of course I did. And it wasn't some last minute speech I cobbled together. That's how I always felt. We can't always face problems alone and build walls to keep people out. We need to learn to rely on others especially those we care about the most. I know what you're up to, Jeffy. Huh? What do you mean? You made it sound like you were talking to those kids. But you were talking to me. <laughs> Who's building that wall now? Uh, well, <laughs> a Landau just called out a Landau. Jepard. Change of plan. I've decided to stay in Bellabop. Serval, I... I just want you to know that I would have supported your decision, no matter what you chose. I wasn't trying to force you to stay. I know that, Jepard. Don't worry. I've thought this one through for a change. What you said was the last piece of the puzzle for me. I suddenly realized that my decision to leave was just me trying to run away from my problems. It wasn't. I've always found it hard to handle complex relationships. Be it Kakolia or my family. The first thought I have when things don't work out is to run away. Starting from today, that's no longer the case. After all, I'm not doing this on my own, right? Right. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had any idea about the hardships people were going through in the underworld. It made me feel like maybe I could help a little and make Bellabog a better place. I have one last thing that I might need your help with. I want to see the Stellaron. I want to see the place where Kokolia sacrificed herself. Say no more. We'll go with you. Oh, but before that, I need to go back to the workshop and get something. Why don't you head north first and we'll catch up with you? It's all right. I've got Jepard with me. We'll be safe. See you in a bit. Wait, we're going where 
the stellar round was but isn't that gone now isn't the stellar round gone now oh clearly not Such advanced technology back in the day. Impressive. This is where Madame Kakulia died. Hmm. She gave something back in death. I wanted to come here to perform for Kakulia. To say goodbye. I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. Not the nicest spot for a show. And the equipment can be better. Sorry about that. The stage is yours, sister. Oh, that was another mission I did? Alright. I need eight more gems for this. Wait, what am I doing now? It's not what I wanted to do. Oh wait, here we go.
stolen parts again? How am I going to track down this crook? Oh, it's you. There have been a few unusual thefts in the dwelling over the past few days. The vagrants say that the parts they worked so hard to obtain have completely vanished. They're worried that there's a thief in the dwelling. Despite our investigations, no one has been able to track down the thief. What's even stranger? is that the thief appears to be only interested in stealing parts and doesn't care about other valuable items. The vagrants had no choice but to ask Mr. Svarok to look into it, but he still hasn't found anything. I investigated the matter myself, but I came up empty-handed. Jeez, I'm baffled. What a strange thief. Are you also here to look into this case? Perhaps if we work together, we can uncover some clues that I missed. It's just... I haven't found enough clues yet. The thief is really tricky. They haven't left any traces in the dwelling. Oh! I heard the vagrants on patrol last night ran across the thief again, but I haven't had time to look into it. Should we go on? You sound so cool. You're like one of the characters from Mr. Svarog's movies. Aren't they called... detectives? Seeing you so fired up has me excited too. Now, let's get started. Yes, it's a detective. <sighs> last night. Can you tell us what happened? Ah, who, who's... Oh, Clara, it's you. I thought it was... You scared the living daylights out of me. Ah. I... I did see the thief last night, but who is this person next to you? Trailblazer? Oh, I know. You're the outsider who... Oh, wow. I feel way better knowing that a Big shot like you is here to catch the thief. Big Hold shot. On. Uh, I'll big explain shot. what happened last night. Just let me gather my thoughts first. <sighs> okay. So, last night I was on patrol when I bumped into the thief stealing the parts. Then, then I, I just. Goodness, I was so scared. It was dreadful. I was cold and hungry while on patrol last night, so I decided to return to London. When I entered the tent, the thief's silhouette scurried across my vision. I couldn't see the thief's face because the tent was so dark, but I could tell he wasn't a nice guy. How do you tell he wasn't a nice guy? Well, he I mean, he's a thief, flee, so he's he not a nice a guy. Knife right across my face. In that moment, I really thought I was going to die. I could feel the blades chill on my cheeks and smell its rusty scent. The weapon that fella had was definitely a metal one. That also, I saw the outline of him in the dark. The fella's head was absolutely square. Yes, you heard me, square. Can you believe that? Someone with a square head? It was truly terrifying. Someone with a square head? It sounds bizarre, but 
It could be a clue. I'll jot it down. Sir, please take a deep breath. So, the thief was armed with a metal weapon and had a, um, square head, correct? Yes, that's correct. Hmm, I'm struggling to make sense of these clues. Do you have any thoughts? scared when a shadow leaps out at you who could possibly pay attention to such tiny details it seems that's everything. i mean a lot of people we now know one of the culprit's physical traits and that he is extremely violent but how can we track him down ah, yes i remember something while the culprit was hurrying to escape he knocked something over he may have oh he knocked some something over something this is a crucial clue. Let's go investigate. I think he ran that way. No one has touched the crime scene, so any traces he left behind should still be there. You think he ran what way? Oh. at these marks these are very suspicious uh, could they have been left by the culprit they point in that direction let's go take a look Targets detected. Okay, I messed this up. Kind of. <gasps> oh no, I didn't. I'll be the best Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. I guide the wandering soul. Oh, why don't you stay and play for me? Yeah. Did you come here of your own volition, or was it fate? Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. Hope you're prepared. Commencing support. I made it to the other chat. Nice, nice. Enemy data secure. Ah, uh, but something's Remember happening to you two. So, I don't exactly know, uh, what's going exactly on. It's dumber. I'll contain them. In the name of Landau. I don't know. Years of cold. But how wind. have you been? We uh, shall never fall. Cody. Another person I haven't seen on the uh, channel in quite some time.
Oh. What am I doing here? I guess I should do this. Oh, actually, I should have did this. Let's play hide and seek. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? After a few bad apples, I understand. Oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. You will know justice. That's fair. Oh, I gotta hit this the one time. Cast. And I should beat it. There we go. Another blood debt repaid. All right, we need to go. in this direction. Oh, I actually want to get that. No, no, no. Stop it from even hitting me. before facing an opponent I couldn't beat and couldn't backtrack ah uh, <sighs> I'm taking it very slow on this here. account I guess we'll have to look around for other clues this is where the mechanical waste is disposed of though I had the game Could a while ago be... uh, oh okay I'll follow you let's put up wait What's that noise? It's a tiny robot? Is it searching for something? It looks like it's carrying the vagrant's missing part and those tracks and metal scratches we noticed earlier. doesn't have any kind of metal weapon. This small robot doesn't appear to be a Bellabot creation. It looks like oh, it's been uh, together from... Uh, asking me for help materials. on this game is uh, interesting. Oh, it, I... Human... Injured... Uh, hurt... Please don't... I... I don't understand what it's saying. But... It doesn't appear to be trying to flee or attack us. It appears to be trying to say something. I... Human... Please... Don't hurt. Is it trying to say... Please don't hurt me, humans? Human... Parts... Rivets... Need... Repair... Need... Town... Parts... Need, 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 hurt, don't. It appears to have a malfunction. I'm probably gonna have to fight this robot. I think I robot. can understand it. It seems that it needs these parts, and I, I've never seen a robot with this kind of malfunction before. What happened to it? Although this small robot appears to want to communicate, its speech is all scrambled. Perhaps there's an issue with its language module. This little guy probably can't understand what we're saying either. Run 
Escape! Open! Fire! Works! Uh, it's running away! No, we can't let it escape. What should we do? We gotta stop it. Yeah, let's stop it. Hurt. Pain. No, hurt. Don't. Pain. Suffer. Sorry. Hurt. Sorry. Inputting commands. Whoa. Sorry. Hurt. Suffer. I'm guessing Sorry. I took a different path, so I'm prepared, I'm prepared for that match against Soldier. Sorry. Oh. It seems to have stopped working. Was it begging for mercy? I'm not sure what happened either. I feel bad about this. Hello. I guess we should return this little fella and the parts. I think I can... I'll repair it. And if I can't, I'll ask Mr. Sparrow for help. He always knows what to do. Assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. While Mr. Svarog is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. Hmm? This paint job and these custom parts. And the way. But one thing is for certain this little fella is not under remote control. Not sure. He's operating entirely of his own accord. I mean, you can always try. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot with a design like this before. It really seems like something that was thrown together rather quickly. Its creator most likely didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. Is it a failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? But, if it's a pet, then why would it gather parts itself? Hmm. I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Some vagrants also make modifications to their pets, which they call pet upgrades. Pets like that are pretty rare, but some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots. Others force them into battle. If my memory serves me right, the parts this little fella stole were originally designed for that kind of pet upgrade. of the people but I disagree robots have their own thoughts and feelings it's great that you understand what I'm saying robots have their own thoughts and feelings um I'm sorry I just suddenly felt some strong emotions this Jack's placement is odd the chip is buried deep in assessment of the robots condition is complete the shell damage is estimated to be 98.2% the assessment concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and... You can always rely on Mr. Sparag to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a new robot shell to fix it, right? Hmm. I'm not sure if anyone sells this kind of thing. 
However, there must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but I'm gonna return the parts to the vagrants first. Then I'll check on the little fella. Can I trust you to find a shell in the machine graveyard, big brother? <laughs> really? You could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then I'll entrust this task to you, big brother. Look for Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is crude. But... So where are we gotta go now? Tomorrow afternoon and a five hour drive. Oof. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Gotta start this, okay? Hello, guests of Miss Clara. Please do as you wish. It's my... Miss Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. to engage in super speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise 10 times, then clockwise by 270 degrees. Stream 4. We went over the bridge. Wait, no, we went over that bridge. That unit came out of nowhere. I'm gonna say that right now. Enemy 
Base data secure. That unit Net came out of activity. nowhere. Time for good old counter attack. Enemy targets detected. Damn, what the hell was that? Oh. Is that all? Okay. Um. Stream four. Damn. Oh shoot. We have arrived at our first destination. This model is known as the Dire Wolf, and was robot pet battles sound a little frightening. The inside of the armor is a total mess due to being melted by the heat. Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our way to the second destination. Please. Keep following. Caution! You have exceeded the speed limit. Please obey Bellaborg traffic laws. On the road, safety is the top priority. Damn it. Die here. Guide, the wandering souls. This ends here. Another blood debt repaid. We have arrived at our second destination. This module is called the Beetle, which is the same as mine. This machine was scrapped because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted a command, causing the engine to catch fire and the core module to melt down. That is such an odd reason to be... However, the shell appears to be in good condition, so I'll bring it with me. Your trip has concluded. Please keep an eye out for vehicles approaching from the back or side. Your trip has concluded. I appreciate you putting your trust in Wait, Okay, I have to go back and speak to her again. And, uh... A five-star review for this trip has been yep. automatically generated for you. You're welcome. A five-star review. It was good seeing you again. Make sure you come by. Greatly appreciate. It's time for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Don't worry, Mr. Spar. Oh, you're back already. How did it go? Did... This shell. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's, but it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Thank you for bringing this to me. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do is move all this circuitry into the new shell. Transfer from one shell to the new shell. Although its appearance has changed a lot, I think we did a good- hmm. But what I just did... 
Is it any different from those pet upgrades that the vagrants perform? Not compatible. Incompatible? Huh? It's making a strange sound. Incompatible. In. Well, what's going on? Is it malfunction? Incompatible. 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 Risk level high. Clara, get away now. Big brother, watch out! Out of Incompatible. control. Enemy targets detected. Incompatible. 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 Don't worry. I'll go eat. Yeah. Did you come here of your own? The still waters of the saying incompatible. and Big Brother acted fast. Why did the little fella... Was there a compatibility issue? I mean, if he Pro kept shooting. saying incompatible, Assessment. I the believe there might have been an issue. Causing the robot to behave erratically. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level low. Alert lifted. It appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great! But I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. Compatibility tests should take a few days. Hopefully, it'll be all back to normal by then. I'm also curious about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back later, Big Brother? I need to look into something. I may require your assistance. All right, Clara. Thank you, big brother. I'll text you when this little fella is. I fixed. wonder if you had to get a different Mr. shell. Mr. Sparrow, I'd like to give this little fella a name. No, I think. For a good name. I think it just Accessing makes you get database. the shell. Search results: Abby, Abigail, Ada, Addison. I should come back to Clara later. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Clara later. We just finished the first part of this quest. Actually, let's just see if we can pull. We should be able to pull a single pull here. Nope. We got about. 15 hours before this, uh... But we should be able to do... We're going to go to our missions. I sadly I need to sleep. Got church in my morning. And a long road trip. That's. Alright. I got to get up early anyway. To. Go to work. So. I'm probably going to end my I'm going to end my stream here. So, thank you all for joining. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it here at the channel. Uh and please tell you tell your friends. Uh I greatly appreciate anybody coming up. Feel free to hang out here. We do a lot of different games, so, you know, Take care, everyone. Have a nice night, and as always, be safe out there.